Finally! Yeah! Avengers, assemble! He's trying to sweep up leaves in this world. And another one! <laughs>
What about, uh, can you give me a console, mate? Do you know if it was like PS1, PS2? Where did they buy ya? Oh, now that I've said that, was the original Need for Speed 1 on PlayStation 1? I'm pretty sure it was. I'm positive I had a Need for Speed game on PlayStation 1. Now I'm trying to remember if it went back earlier than that. I don't think it did. I can't imagine a Need for Speed game on like the old... Like on an old Nintendo console or anything. I definitely played Need for Speed going back. Xbox 360. Last gen game for sure, 360. Fair enough. Fair enough. Whoa. They're all so generic at this point. Like, I couldn't even tell you really how this... And I mean, this feels a lot like uh, Forza. What is that? Horizon? I want to say the Forza Horizon series. Yeah, is the arcadey one. This, this plays the same as that. And I mean... Whoa! The handbrake is very, very powerful in this game. That handbrake's good for a 90-degree spin. A hard 90-degree spin. But yeah, the racing games for years have all felt very samey. I couldn't tell you the last time I had a new experience uh, in a racing game. Here we go. Knife thrust over the jump. Boom! That sense of speed's good. That the little camera wobble they put in there to imply speed is very nice. Ne but now that I've mentioned the camera shake, I'm fixated on it, and I'm instantly deciding that no, I want to turn that camera shake off. I may go menu diving. What do you think, Elijah? Is that? Oh, there goes Jess. Is this camera wobble a bit much, uh, James? If you're in there as well. Yeah. The Need for Speed games, uh, they have always looked good. I'm trying to remember which one it was. It may have been the very first Need for Speed game I played, and that's going back some time. But I feel like there was like an end bonus level, like a special unlock when you finish the game, or I, I can't remember the particulars around it. I don't know whether it was just the last track to unlock or whether... I feel like I had to do something special, like maybe you had to use a certain car on a certain track and beat a certain time. You know, something like this, some sort of... Uh, requirements, but you could unlock this track and it took place in the sky. It was the... God, this is really going back, but from memory, the original Need for Speed game was all very much like this, set in, you know, real life, real world, oi, type driving scenarios. Uh, and me fully crashing into the side, they've decided, no, we're just going to take over and roll a cutscene. Oh, uh, what's that? Is that Seattle, I think? Oh, no, it's Nevada. Oh, it's um. Oh, what is the the spire in Nevada? I know that I've been to Las Vegas a few times in my life, and I know the name of that one, and it's not coming to me. From memory, it's where they did um, Fear and Loathing Las Vegas. I think it was that casino. Don Johnny Depp. Gosh. <laughs> That's a good name for a truck. I like it. Just get the car to me and I'll take care of the rest. Time to make us all rich, Tyler. I got eyes on the mark. Gather's here. Well, look at that. It is a beautiful day for the race. <laughs> Who is that guy? The stream crashed. This stream, your stream's crashed, really, man? Now, I know this prototype won't let me do oh. the question is. Uh, I'm not sure. I've got green lights on my YouTube panels here, man. So I'm not sure what to tell you. It might be a local configuration issue. I guess I'm not really sure. Could be anything. Good boy. You've done your homework. Cool, man. Glad we know the source of it. Got it. Although I had no warning lights the other night, I looked back at a video stream, and there were breakups in it, and I'm like. Yeah, I don't think the YouTube, you know, health lights, uh, I can't really hang my hat on those. I don't trust it when I've got green lights here across the board. It's the most likely to be a good stream at that point, but it's no uh, assurance of a good stream. Wow, I wonder if they've sold those. Uh, they look like legit ads on those billboards. I wonder whether they're dynamically streamed Whoa, the in or whether the companies associated with those brands had to prepay for those billboards. I remember um, it was a, oh, what was the the arcade racing game, Burnout Paradise? Was it Paradise? 
It was one of the burnout games. It wasn't Paradise. It was before Paradise, a couple of years before. There was a burnout with um, billboards where they did stream the stream them in and they sold them regionally. And I remember, like, the Victorian government, the government where I live, had purchased some street signage in this um, burnout game. It was the craziest thing I've ever seen. Like, um, the government advertising here is the TAC, Transport Accident Commission, I believe it stands for. And they put in all the ads like, wear a seatbelt and do the speed sign, uh, speed limit and don't drink drive. All these sort of, whoa, all these sort of messages come from our TAC. I am totally lost at this point. I did not even see where that was. Wow. Uh, anyway, so there was TAC advertising in this burnout game. So you'd be driving along and it's the... You know, oh, I can't even remember what the messaging was back then, but, you know, wipe off five, save lives, or whatever those TAC ads were at the time. They were in this video game, and they were only in there, and, you know, until the advertising campaign stopped. And then they, I think if you go back and play it now, they're just generic billboards. It's crazy. It was crazy technology. <laughs> That's awesome that you got Wolverine though, man. Well done. Colin and I still have not been able to get him. We've tried a few times, but um, he's really difficult. Like, and there's been a few times that I'm like, surely I've, you know, I've hit him. I, I, I'm guessing here, but like I've already hit him eight times, making that number up. But I've hit him a bunch of times already and he's not going down. Surely he'll be dead. And then he just kills me every time. He's really tough kill. Yeah, super tough. So was it, uh, how many attempts do you think, man, all up? In hindsight, how many uh, times did you shoot at Wolverine and get into a fight with him? Was it, uh, were there a lot? You've said three hours, and I'm just wondering, is, is three hours, you know, 15 attempts? How did you fare? Head for the jump. What jump? Oh, this jump, is it? Oh. I see that jump. Jump a two million dollar hypercar. Check. <laughs> That's so strange that they um, took control off of me for that jump and then gave control back. Seems really counterintuitive. Like I don't understand this desire by game developers to take take it away from being an interactive experience to to like revert back to a film experience for the really cool moment and then go back into a video game. It doesn't make any sense to me. It's a video game. Let me play those cool moments. Oh, man. Now, I don't know in this game yet. I don't know enough to know whether um, does, like, riding on the wrong side of the road give me extra nitros or anything. No idea what the... Uh, Best way to game the system is, so to speak. Whoa, in this one. Man, that horizon feels really distant. Like, it gets really flat. Some other racing games, the road feels like it's more... It's more presented. I guess the camera's rocked more around on top of the car. Whoa! I think that was Jess giving him a shunt. Coming in with the assist. Oh, there you go, and I've switched over. I have no idea where those cops are. Oh, there's one. Can I just tap him in the back like that? Is that sufficient? Oh, yeah. I got one of them at least. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I fully tried to ram him into that wall and just, and just throw myself into it. Wow. That is not good. Look at the reflections on the car. That's uh, pretty good reflections for a, uh, what are we, three-year-old game we said at this point? Here we go. Is this a full-on roadblock? Do I need to get a full nitros boost? There he goes. One. Can we get another one? Oh, yeah. Got him straight into his own barrier then. That was perfect. Oh, don't mind me, fellas. Oh, no, I'm going to miss it. No, made it. Don't <laughs> mind me, fellas. Coming through. Me, me. Road runner. Oh, shunted in the back. It's another roadblock. Oh, beautiful. 
Are we, uh, did we just flip them like dominoes? Oh man, that was close. He got me. He got me. Did they give it back to me? I kind of did land back on my tires. There we go. Just reset me. Oh, look at this. The truck's there again. And once again, they didn't let me play the moment. GMF splits. Hi, how you doing? Welcome. What's happening? Have you grabbed this game for the month? Are you playing it? Can you tell me things? We're only, uh, what, about 15 minutes in at this point. I'm still trying to work out how I uh, increase my nitrous reserves, whether I can drive dangerously on the other side of the road to refill that gauge or... Whoa, 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 whoa. I've totally lost control of the vehicle at this point. I am just bouncing around. I feel like I'm inside a pinball table. Man, that handbrake's tight. That, uh, that really stops all momentum. There we go. What's going on? I'm on my way. Doom Eternal and Nightmare difficulty is a nightmare. I believe it would be. Now, are they adding new stuff? Did I see Doom Eternal's getting new DLC or something real soon? I read something about Doom Eternal recently. I'm trying to remember what it was. It might have just been that it was coming to Game Pass, actually. Up, up. He is out of here. I'll draw the cops, but go. Oh, really? I just assumed you could play online from the start. That's crazy. Oh, new DLC and you're hyped for it. That's awesome, Gaming Raptor. What, um, what's the DLC, man? Is it story stuff or is it like more multiplayer maps or something? What have they got in store for us? Whoa. This car really sits way tighter on the road than that prototype did. That was, uh... Oh, nice slide. I can't believe I didn't uh, take out my rear on that shop front. I think it helped me. <laughs> Man, it's funny hearing it hit that limiter. Whoa! Through the fence we go. Wow, look at this. Oh, as if that move wouldn't have tapped him out. Come on now, guys. Woo! Handbrake. Nitros out of it. Boom. Gone. See ya. Oh, ah. <laughs> the old flying light pole. This is a pretty good start to a game. Like, this very much feels like I've jumped straight into an action flick the way they've uh, handed this out. Whoa. Checkpoint missed? No, I just kind of nosed it. Oh, there we are. Oy, that was not pretty. Nothing all pretty about this. Escape the city. All right. Let's hope the cops don't know we're under here. Uh-oh. Now, what is the name of that casino? It's not the... F oh, they don't even have the real name on it, do they? Oh, I wish I could remember what it was. <laughs> Whoops. I'm not sure I was meant to smack straight, straight into the side of the creek car like that. Yeah, not being able to play it online is crazy. Crazy. I can't believe you've got to play through it. That's crazy. Where's the car? Oh, the Ancient Gods no, Part no, no, no. 1. She played us both and took it for the house. Did she? Did I'm really the hopeful they're going to turn um, turn out some really good Need for Speed games again. I've still got hope for the franchise, but I understand Although, what you're saying. It, it has uh, no it's had its lunch eaten a lot by um, Forza... Yeah. yeah. This will work. What's it? Horizon. Forza Horizon. The one who holds the cards. What are you talking about? You hear that? Cops are almost here. Go to jail or... The me. problem with the Forza Horizon stuff is they never tackle these kind of, well, problem with it. The different strategy they've taken with it being all event-based. At least with the Need for Speed series, they can try and pull 
um, a sort of interesting emotional narrative together. But with the real vote event focus of the Forza yeah. Horizon series, it's very much just a pick up and play just one round, which is fine. Like, it's perfect if you're into that kind of racing game. But the cool differentiator is the fact that needs to speak can do stories. So if they lent into the story side of it and really did it well, I'm obviously a big Fast and the Furious fan. The game was rubbish. But if they could do like an emotional Fast and the Furious cinema narrative wow in a video game that's like this like that it would be amazing that's why i was so hopeful for need for speed crossroads <laughs> obviously it didn't come up yeah i understand what you're saying that is uh that is frustrating it's like um oh i did not mean photo mode yes i don't want to do photo mode um i play luigi's mansion with my son uh, and the weird thing about that is they didn't implement multiplayer in that until uh, I think it's like the third level. Like it takes a bit and I'm making up time here, but call it an hour. It's like an hour of gameplay before you can in, uh, add the second player component to Luigi's Mansion in order to help. It seems really crazy because it's the game. Like once you get Luigi and you can sort of help that couch co-op experience it's perfect the game's brilliant i just i still can't work out why they didn't just include co-op mode from the start of that game so i totally take your point when uh, when multiplayer is like on the box as co-op or multiplayer and then it's locked behind some arbitrary progression i agree completely uh it is very frustrating when they do it what is going on is that it? Did that start just by going through it? It's weird. I was expecting a little bit more fanfare to indicate the start of a race. Or a time trial or whatever this is. Speed run end. Damn, that feels good. So am I meant to go back and do it again or we just... Deliver the car. I'm delivering the car. Thank goodness they've got it written up there because I had no idea. Yeah, right. More cars online. That would be... Um, yeah, makes a lot of sense. But yeah, if it's not viable really to play it online until you do a certain thing, I agree. That's, uh, that's not cool. What if I don't want to switch the camera? Are you not going to give me... Uh, Oh, I'm going. I'm trying to get there as quick as I can. Oh, here we go. Speed trap. Okay. It would be really nice in here if they made it clear that, oh, you won't be able to get three stars on this challenge until you've... Until you've got a car of, you know, X rank, whatever it needs to be in order to hit that top, uh, top knot. Oh, wow. calling us okay, out. Where are we turning? I could not see that. So I'm like, where is that arrow? I thought it wanted me to go under the bridge. Your perfect height fell apart. Your whole crew became the most wanted little gang in all of Fortune Valley. Fortune Valley? They couldn't even call it Nevada? Las Vegas? Come on, guys. Whoa! <laughs> Just bouncing off the walls here. What are we up left and under? Man, there's not a lot of cars on the road. I am I have spent a lot of time in Forza. I'm the only friend you got right now. And uh, what's really noticeable to me right now is the lack of other traffic on the road. Like there's some, sure, but even like um, Burnout Paradise, which was many years before this, uh, the traffic density was much higher. Oh, wow. Interesting uh, drawing effect there. If you keep your eye on the billboards in the distance, you can see them populate in. Oh, actually, and then in that cutscene, I'm like, oh, maybe it was just meant to be a transition effect on the board. Maybe I didn't see that at all. Yeah, I agree. The handling on the cars 
is a bit annoying. <laughs> yeah, I hear what you're saying about EA not putting the, mar the, the money power. into a Look, solid, crazy investment. I say when the cards get played. It's been six months. Get out. Get out. Yes, 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 James. Not James at all. I'm knocking you down. Gaming Raptor. Elijah. How you doing? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Are we just going to end up with Y's? <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Yo, 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 yo. Ooh, that very fancy purple looking car might have been the purple unlock car at the end of the first Need for Speed game I was talking about at the same, at the start of this stream. Go, Geo, what is this, a 911? Oh, I really don't want to be in photo mode ever. I just want to be driving and I don't know what button I'm hitting that is bringing up photo mode. Whoa! It's usually, what, L3, R3, isn't it? Man, this car goes very slow by comparison to the other cars we've been in. I guess that's the end of the, uh, the tutorial section and now we're starting out with the base model cars. On the plus side, though, that would suggest those speed challenges with the three stars were achievable. <laughs> hey, Dibs94. What is the trophy list like? That's an excellent question. I have no idea. Oops, that's Tony Hawks. That's not us. There we are. Need to speed. Three star and all... Wait, how... There you go. The platinum is 0.5%. That's an incredibly rare platinum. Incredibly rare. Uh, and what's the drop-off like? That's the other thing here. If it goes from 93% down to a 72, you can bet a lot of people are bouncing out of this game early. Uh, so the platinum being that low, I would instantly say the trophy list must be full of difficult ones. And then, yeah, if there's only one... You know, less than 95%. That must be a pretty nasty list. <laughs> Why can't you see a damn thing? What's happened? Whoa, there's me running into a parked car. I like that this car is has got rust all over it. Clearly not cared for. Yet, the owner has installed Nitro. <laughs> he doesn't fix the rust patches, but he does make sure his nitrous tank is always full. <laughs> oh! I can't keep going like this. Sure you can, mate. Whoa, we kind of missed our driveway. I'm sure our neighbours are used to it, though. It's time. It's time. Give me the number. Here we go. So, I hear we got a wannabe contender to race for the house, huh? Yeah. Just give me a Oh, no space left. That's a shame. <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. Am I supposed to be, uh, yeah, doing some of that? Manually setting a navigator. Oh, see, I beat the tutorial and now it's going to be, yeah. I just opened the map, guys. You can clear out. Lakeside Sprint. I just don't know what that other icon was there on the minimap, but they haven't mentioned it, so I won't go there yet. I'll go to the giant red one that they clearly want me to do next. I have no problem with the game taking a very strong leading hand, especially early on. The only thing you could argue is that it uh, could maybe use a fast travel system. Whoa! Hang in, turn left. Where is it? Now that's weird. All the other turns they had had the big arrows pointing in, and that one, nothing. You're on your own. All right, R1 to start. Okay. Time for your first test. 
The cop car, there are cop cars in the game. I have seen cop cars, but none just yet. I'm sure they'll show up any minute, though, now that we're racing. Here we go. Uh, uh, I wish I knew what, if anything, it took to... Um, what's the recharge of the nitro take, you know? Oh! Is it... Uh, Oh, oh. Nice. <laughs> we got a Randy more. Right, let's notch her out of there. B -b -b oh, this isn't good. This is somewhat ludicrous, in fact. Oi. Whoa. <laughs> Throwing out that bridge looks cool, but where's the base of it? Oh, it's in water. Wow. Okay. There's one you can steal right. Oh, is there a cop car to be stolen in this? I did not realize. That's cool. Oh! Oh, come on now. Woo. Like I had that tiny little bit of nitrous left in the tank. Boom, event complete. Finish him. Well, that's cool. If you tell me where the car is, okay, I will go okay. acquire it. Not but uh, I know nothing the of the stealable cop cars. The better the racer, the more convincing it is when you take the fall. You know I'm good enough for the house. Maybe, maybe not. You had one good race. Might have been a fluke. Look how you signed up for one more race with some serious... Rustway circuit. Well there, and it'll mean something. Here we go. You think they would have the... Um, the minimap like GPS system auto update. What is that? Is it a photo mode? Oh, maybe it's like, um, it's very similar to, and it'll come to me, Burnout Paradise in that there's events everywhere throughout. Now, Burnout Paradise had one, I believe, at every intersection in the game, and they clearly haven't gone that hard in this one. But uh, I think the inspiration that that game has lent them is pretty, uh, pretty heavy. Now, I can't work out whether that's just meant to be a casino under construction or is it the start of a, uh, or is it, excuse me, a roller coaster? Could have been either in Las Vegas because there is that casino. What is there? There is a casino with a roller coaster up top. I believe it's next to the MGM Grand, but it's not the MGM Grand. Oh, man, my uh, casino name memories are escaping me. Uh, what's this? There's one you can steal. The Crown Vic. Okay, the Crown Vic apparently is a stealable cop car. Throw its location in on the minimap and I will, uh, I will go and steal said cop car. Whoa, whoa. Come on, Aaron. Don't, uh, don't bump me off the road. At what point do I get to get out of this, uh, what is this? Looks like an old Porsche 911 is my guess. I'm not really sure. I actually don't know whether they've got licensed cars in this game or are these, though they've got bigger Coca-Cola signs back there. I'm tipping it's, there is probably corporate sponsorship of every type in the game. So it probably is a proper mark of one. Oh, oh man. I thought we were supposed to go through that, um, through that service station then. No, no. I should have driven better around it. Lap two of three. I didn't even recognize that I was on a circuit. Whoa, that handbrake. That is like, I handbraked into that corner and look at that frame rate drop. Wow. That camera wobble, as I went into the corner, the camera wobble started because I did the handbrake, but then it didn't oh, stop there. the wobble, even though the, uh, I finished with the handbrake and I'd come around the turn, but that handbrake, that little camera wobble that they put there at the end didn't release and it stayed on for, what was that, an extra four or five seconds maybe? There's the service station that I was cutting through. Now it looks like a lap. Let's crush that last lap. Let's crush that last lap. All right. Boom. Boom, boom, boom.
Oh, I thought it was that bridge. I was wondering if I could get it to uh, do the camera wobble thing again. But no, it doesn't look like I can. Not repeatable. Not easily repeatable. Anyway, maybe there's a very specific angle that you need to be on to hit it. Or was it that corner last time? But it's that, uh, like, full hard left lock. Break in and then... Oh! <laughs> then I tried. Wow, almost crashed it right at the end. That would have served me very much right. What did I tell you? Whoa. I win again. <laughs> Fine. You proved you can try. Hey Marco, how you doing? Welcome back. We're setting you up with a new ride so you look the part. Navarro is building a new order. Alright, where are we up to? Hey, it updated the uh be part of it. It updated the map. Excellent. Now, when do I get to buy a new car? That's really what I want in this. I want to be, whoa, riding a car, preferably without rust marks on it. This is, uh, the game is not an escape from reality when my, <laughs> when my car in the game is as clapped out as my, well, my real car certainly doesn't have nitros to go this fast, but it looks as though it's as old as my car. I play these games for escape. Put me in a new car, something that I could never possibly try. An armored truck, for example. I do like the um, the feel of the car, any car, into the brake, like that hard handbrake nitros out. It does feel great. Remember on the, um, what do they call that demo car or whatever it was? They called it something and that car didn't do it. Oh, here we go. Is this the upgrade? Right when I was looking for an upgrade, they've given me one. That I would say this was beautifully balanced and play tested. Certainly the front end of the game is. Here we go. The old Zep 358. I'm coming for you. Ah, got to do it myself. It's weird that sometimes they update the minimap and then other times they don't. I sort of don't mind if they want to make a bad decision, but I'd respect it more if they did it consistently. There you go. Now the voiceover is laying into me. Stop going from marker to marker. Man, did you see that car? That car was all kinds of mathematical equations in motion, trying to avoid collisions with me. All right, I'm just going to go and check out what's in this side alley. That aqua icon, I'm guessing, is a speed trap. Target 105. Now, is that... Do I need to turn around and come back? Yeah, 91. Okay, so build up speed this way. 105 to collect. I'm kind of maxed out there, aren't I? All right. Whoa. Oh, I think I have to be on the other side of the road. Man, now maybe I have to be going on the other direction as well. It mightn't accept my speed going the wrong way. Oh, no, it did. There we go. Man, that navigation was slow to update. I'd well and truly passed that corner before it rerouted the map. Revenge. Man, I hope this uh, music in the background isn't going to give me copyright strikes on YouTube. That wouldn't be good. There is something rotten in this city. Oh, wow, that sucks, but uh, check your online saves. Maybe you'll be able to pull down um, your, if you've got PlayStation Plus, which if you've got the game for free, you've got PlayStation Plus. Um, check your online saves. Maybe it's up there. Maybe you could download your save from the cloud and continue where you were, possibly. Boom. Oh. But even if you've got a local problem with your PS4, the cloud save should be fine, man. Feels good to 
like uh, from the dash with the game thumbnail highlighted, hit the options button, and then look at the what is I think it's labelled as upload, download, save game data. Oh well, guess I'll have to meet all of you. Whoa, where are we off to? <laughs> we're going sideways around that corner is where we're off to. Hey, hey, you thought I wasn't watching you? Oh! Doing, boom! Around that I corner is harsh. Down, I got tired of waiting. I'm taking care of cool. business. I don't know if I can properly, like, do takedowns in this game. I love Burnout. What was the first Burnout? Was it called Burnout Takedown? I feel like they, they introduced takedowns in one and then the years after, or the two years after, the following release, I think it was called Burnout Takedown, but I think that was after the introduction of takedowns. But they were amazing. I always loved the takedown cameras. I always thought they looked so cool. Oh, my gosh, I'm doing terribly here. All right. God damn, dead last. <laughs> oh, almost got the parked car. Certainly got the light poles. Man, I'd, uh, I hope they've got like a stats page in the menus of this game somewhere. And it's total light poles destroyed. Because we're only, what, half an hour into this? 40 minutes into this? And I feel like I've taken out 15 already. Nobody get any it's, uh... They must have quite the high body count. Oh, that was a near miss. That was a proper hit. <laughs> or, is it, or is it when you hit that it's considered a near miss? Like it's a... I nearly missed him. Turns out I just got him. Ah, oh, well, I came second. Come on, that's not too bad. Oh, boo. All right, restart. I'll focus more. How about that? I'll try really hard. Oh, my God, how good is Mad Max? Mad Max is great. And, yes, the way they've got, like, the RPG elements in that game to... You know, so the the car really does become a character, like your or a mount. I guess it's probably similar to a mount that you can upgrade uh, throughout, like Red Dead or something. But you're right, they Mad Max does do cars very well, giving them personalities and making them feel like different. Um, driven a lot of cars in this game. The only one that's really felt different so far was that right at the start with the. Um, that silver car that was, I can't remember what they called it, like it was a, a prototype or something. They implied it wasn't a full production car, like it was a test car, or I can't remember the language they used. But that car certainly felt different. That felt uh, similar to maybe how a boat would handle around a corner. Very sluggish, uh, takes a long, it took a lot longer distance to, oh, make the turns. That's gonna cost me. Oh dear. Now, is it one specific person that I had to beat, or was it just that I have to come first in the race? There we go. Oh, no, too early. Tap that. Oh, no. Tap the old e-brake a whisker early. Are we coming up to the end? Is that the finish line? Did I just blow it? No, now is the final lap. I see. Stay behind the lead, Sidewinder. Nice and steady. Your rigged races are done, Navarro. Tyler Oh! Oh, no! That, I reckon that one's just cost me. That terrible, terrible, terrible section of driving, I reckon, has just cost me. I definitely should have had that. There is no reason I shouldn't have been all over that one. Ooh. Here we go. Oh, come on now. There's the finish. Oh, we're going to make it. 
we're gonna make it. This is the greatest feeling of my life. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Gigs up, Lena. Uh, it has been a while. Uh, now, I can't remember if you had to correct me. I'm going with uh, Makul. Makul, welcome back. Uh, it has been a while, but you're welcome, sir. Enjoy. Mad Max, 8 out of 10 from Elijah. 8 out of 10. I can see that, man. It's, uh, I'd be, for me, at the minute, it's sitting at about a 9. I'm not finishing it. I'm maybe... Maybe 20 hours in, give or take at this point, I guess. Oh, 20 might be even a bit over. Maybe 16 might be a fair assessment. Probably 16 hours uh, into it. Absolutely loving it. Like, I'd give it a nine. It's sitting on about a nine for me at the minute, Mad Max. Really great game. Oh, and if anyone's in the chat and hasn't heard me say it, the reason we're back to Mad Max, the reason I'm talking about it is because of... Um, oh, I really thought I was going to be able to get him to break into those cars. Oh! <laughs> if he crashed into that building, that was perfect. You cross us, Navarro. My goodness, I can't see. Like, there's two dudes on me on that mini map. And I don't know whether it's better to outrun them or should I just, like, slow down for a minute and focus on crashing their cars. There we go. Got one. Oh, and is he going to get his mate as well? That'd be awesome if he went, uh... <laughs> It'd be hilarious if I gave both the uh, pursuers there the slip at the base of the bridge. This guy's problem is he thinks he's hunting me. He doesn't know that I'm hunting him. He's got the roles in reverse. What's taking so long? Ooh. You guys got some moves, but uh, we will get him. You better. You're the one who brought him in. In you go, mate. Have some wool. And some more? Oh, I thought I was going to get him then for sure. I thought he was going to just shoot past me. I was going to be able to just tap him in the... The rear uh, passenger side quarter panel on his way past was what I was aiming for. Oh, he totally just launched into the air and hit another car. There's no way that dude didn't have a mid-air head on. Oh, that was a big, that was a big knock. I don't know how they gave me the credit for that as taking out the pursuer. I feel like he hammered me. I'm not sure if there's, like, do I, uh, are they, will there always be two pursuers on me? I guess that becomes the question. There's, no matter what I do driving to them, if I'm on the road, will there always be two of them? In which case, I would stop trying to, um, I'd stop trying to hit them if I knew that it didn't matter how many I hit, that they were always going to come back. But the game hasn't told us whether that's the case with this or not. Uh, I don't see the seven. I thought you said it was a seven. The seven, the Mad Max. If I said Mad Max was a seven previously, and I very well may have, but the last two times I've sat down and played, I've been really impressed with their, with their, um, wait, there's a turn. With uh, taking over their forts, I've started, um, going through their little fortresses uh, and engaging with those as a primary activity a lot more in Mad Max and it's very much elevated my opinion of that game. Imagine the way they've been able to very well do car combat but then also like on foot in base stuff I've been so impressed by the fact that they've been able to tackle two essentially different games and bring them together so well that's why I'm currently for me anyway Mad Max is sitting at about a nine that, co that score could go anywhere pending uh, you know future game sessions but yeah they've really impressed me the last couple yes it definitely has changed man it definitely has changed biggest street race in the country yeah it is and the house 
He's gonna rig it. High rollers putting millions on their man, and he takes a cut from it all. Do those character models, if someone was to tell you that that was father and son, would you believe it? I could totally buy that as a father and son moment. I've seen you drive. I You're think the, the relationship is meant to be to boss and employee. When the outlaws rush in the house, but it looks a bit father son. Come crashing down. The storm's your favorite thing. That's fair, man. That's fair. No, you don't think they look like father and son. That's fair enough, man. They look like they're related to me, but I totally respect your opinion. I see people in a very weird fashion. I don't see people correctly. What do you think come for next? I'm the worst. If a woman changes her hair, I, it's happened countless times throughout my life where I've gone and seen a woman face to face whom I know and have known for a long time. And if the woman's had a haircut, I can be in all sorts of trouble. Was I meant to go up there? I don't think it matters. I think they rejoin. But yeah, there's been... Uh, countless occasions where it's a female who I know well enough where a haircut should not throw me in. They have a haircut and I walk up to them and act as though we've never met and we're complete strangers. <laughs> like, uh, hello? Thanks for me and I'm like, oh my god, I am so sorry. I do know who you are. Uh, so me getting faces wrong, totally understandable. I accept fully that it's just me that thought that looked very father and sunny. Now, am I meant to cut through that park? Nope, there's the street there. You led me to expect great things to <laughs> I'm glad you find it funny, man. I laugh about it after some time has passed, but honestly, I'm so bad at recognizing people. When it happens, it's so embarrassing. I feel about this big for a day or two until I sort of regain myself and now it's okay. I'm just bad with faces. Or haircuts, I guess. Oh, but you know what? There's an actress as a prime example is um, uh, the chick from Mad Max. She's in a... Um, oh, her name's escaping me. Oh, I just x past that cutscene and did not mean it. Uh, but anyway, the chick who played Mad Max in the latest Mad Max, Furiosa. Got to get through this. Furiosa. She, to me, anytime she changes her hair, looks like a totally different person. My wife has to pull me into the line constantly. No, it's the same actress. No, it's the same actress. Puppy. <laughs> Big fan of your channel. It's hash tiger. Yeah. <laughs> tiger selfie. No. Oh, slapped the phone out of his hand. Come on, <laughs> Oh. Epic. <laughs> Get in the car. <laughs> Very strange. Ah, oh, are, are they doing another Mad Max film? That's awesome. Well, they only took what was it, twenty or thirty years between Mad Max Three and Furiosa. Oh, I am not good at drifting in this game. Just pinballing mainly. Oh! Did you just low out loud? I am clearly not a drifter. I've been uh, been playing a bit of thumb drift lately on uh, Android. I can drift pretty well in that, but that game does it all for me. Three good drifts complete. Well, that's all you'll ever get. Go again, but like really go hard. Yeah, it's a crazy disturbing movie. I love it. It's so good. It's so it makes you feel terrible. Oh, the other thing, after you've watched it, uh, look up um, Conan O'Brien. He did a um, I think oh Jesus, Conan O'Brien. I think he was he dressed up. Basically, he does like a spoof of the Furiosa Road, and he's the guitarist guy hanging off the front of the big like the bad guys it's it's hilarious man look it up conan o'brien um you know mad max fury road that's 
Uh, if you look that up, I'm sure you'll find the video. It's, you know, it's this hilarious bit, man. But only watch it after you've seen the film. But it's, it's hilarious. Well worth a look. I am just trying to get that drift to start is just, uh, I'm not sure whether I'm meant to be maybe tapping just a little bit of e-brake or something. Oh, really just to launch into the drift. It feels like it starts a little bit after I want it to currently. There's a drift button? What drift button? I missed it. Boom. Drift trial. Oh, trial scores. Okay. Okay. I agree. The uh, the dialogue in this game is a little bit... Yeah. Cringe is a... Cringe is a great... Are you kidding? Cringe is a great descriptor for the dialogue in this one. Now, is all my thumb drift practice paying off? There's a big rock there that I don't want to hit. Oh, don't hit that rail. Oh, I thought for sure the rail was going to do the big reset, but they still let me keep part of that score. Very generous of them. I would have said, you broke the multiplier, you lose it all. But I have been playing a lot of Tony Hawks lately, and I don't know why drifting around these in these cars, for some reason, reminds me of Tony Hawks. into the rock oh maybe you do lose the multiplier on impact you certainly should it feels like i should oh <laughs> tiny little pebble in front of me oh well it wasn't that tiny okay it was a pretty big rock it was a pretty big rock that's acceptable There we go. That was a decent score. Did you see that? Oh, I saw it. I wonder... If... Oh, man, into that barrier. That's a shame. Woo! Man, that close to 75 grand score. Oh, yeah, that's clearly not me driving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, it's frustrating you so, Elijah. It's been a rough six months without the old crew. You're telling me. Mac, I, uh, Is he vomiting at the back of the car? You know I'm always down. Just like that. <laughs> I dig his t-shirt, though. That little, uh, what's that, a French bulldog? Or is it a proper bulldog? That might be a bulldog bulldog. Uh, it kind of looks like a Frenchie. It's pretty small at the back there. Work faster. Maybe that's a real bulldog on a skateboard. It looks cool, whatever it is. I dig the t-shirt. Plaza Pool? Does this also have mini games in it? Like, uh, what's that, Grand Theft Auto V, maybe? <laughs> Uh-oh, Gaming Raptor's going insane. Somebody send him some help. You guys are late. I hate waiting. What, lady? We're in the middle of a robbery. <laughs> Why did he answer his phone if he was in the middle of a robbery? <laughs> Just so we're clear, you're paying for two extractions, no matter who makes it out alive. <laughs> uh, okay. She doesn't sound too happy about this job, I don't think. I know a guy. Possible robbery? Have we just done a Yui back to like the front end? Weren't we just there? I feel like we like pulled away from the casino and then did a Yui back past on the other side of the road. Yeah, it's very, uh, it's a bit all over the shop, isn't it, with what it's doing? I think we started off as a valet? Maybe at the casino? And then was that our casino boss that I thought was his father? It's, uh... Yeah, I can't say I'm uh, 
too crazy on this story. There's been nothing really that's grabbed me. The only thing I can really remember now is that, that at the moment of that big jump where you'd want to do it, it was um, they took the control away from us. I really want a chance at hitting that jump. Is this where you pitch me Tyler's plan? No way. What is it? Boom! That field of acceleration is really good, the way they have that um, camera wobble kick in. Just a beat after you've um, hit X to kick off that nitro. It's just a breath later. Whoa! I don't know why I keep thinking those barriers are solid and that my car is just going to magically sort of bounce off them and around the corner in the direction I want to go. <laughs> hmm. Oh! Jess sent you. We did pretty well. There wasn't one cop car on our tail then at all. That was crazy. Oh, I'm sorry that if um, trying to pull down the save, it's an error. That's unfortunate. I guess the only other thing... Oh, no, you said it was deleted off your local one. Yeah, no. Well, if it's deleted off your local one and the one in the cloud's corrupt, I believe you are completely out of luck at that point. Wait for the PS5. Well, yeah, there was that story that the... Um, the save games aren't necessarily going to work with the next consoles. I can only assume that's because of the... Um, they must... They've... They must have changed the way the, the games... I can't even wrap my head around it. There must be something, to, and I'm guessing here, but I'm guessing it's something to do with the way they've changed the structure of the operating system to allow for that... The, the, does it do... I don't even know now. Does PlayStation do the quick switching? I remember I've read a bunch of articles about the Xbox doing the... Is it five games in like a really deep suspend state that you can like fast resume or whatever? Does the PlayStation do that as well? I need to look into all this. Yeah. I can't wait to Platinum Spider-Man again, man. Believe me, that's the best excuse I've ever had. The only thing I'm really hoping is that the Miles Morales um, Spider-Man PS4 I'm hopeful it's got um, double trophies as well. I'm hopeful I can go back and play through and finish Spider-Man again on PS4 with a new trophy list and then that trophy list again on PS5. I have no idea whether that's the case, but I'm very much looking forward to it. I would love an excuse to play through Spider-Man two more times. Oh, bump him. Oh, nudged him. Perfect. That was perfect. And is that the only one? Can we be, like, out of pursuit now? Way around that corner. <laughs> His mate took him out. That was perfect. That was absolutely perfect. I could never do that in a million years if that was my intent, but uh, for it to happen as an accident, I'm very happy with that. Oh! I did not realise they were concrete barriers until way too late. Oh! Oh! Boom! There he goes. Oh, I'm trying to get on the other side. Oh, I was trying to clip his quarter panel. Why am I doing like 50k an hour and not accelerating? There we go. That was weird. It was like a an extended period of time where the acceleration really wasn't happening. Providence Parkway? <coughs> Excuse me. Halo Infinite? <laughs> you think Halo Infinite? Uh, I've got to go back and read these comments now. Because that read as though you were saying Halo Infinite for PlayStation. I need to uh, 
Hit that mark and then read this comment again. PS5 for Avengers and Spider-Man's Miles Morales. Yes. God of War 2. Oh, yeah. For a minute, I thought you meant like God of War 2, God of War 2. You mean the new God of War 2 that they've hinted at. I'm with you. And still waiting for Halo Infinite. Oh, there we go. M... Uh, GMF Splits was saying, I might not want to get a PS5, I might want to get the Xbox. That's fair enough. What's driven the decision? I'm curious. Why uh, this is the dumbest plan Why the switch? I'm all the ears. Like this. The best crew in town always gets a racer in the rush. So all we have to do is <laughs> Halo Infinite for the PS5. Well, if they start doing the, um, you know, if all the Bethesda games are now not exclusive but released as, you know, Microsoft published on the PlayStation, it's not that hard to believe that they might do it. Oh, here we go. If I can have this one, I will. Yes. Now, paint it off yellow as well. I don't need yellow. I'll take red. As I understand it, red is the fastest colour paint there is. Sounded very high tech and digital, didn't it? I thought all you did was tune them up. All right, you just your Yeah, ass. you and I both in Australia. Where are you at, mate? I'm uh, I'm locked down in Melbourne myself. But now, what is this? Finish the race. Do I have to come first in this race? Or do I simply have to finish it? Hey, James, welcome back, man. How you doing? Why are us Aussies lucky, mate? What's happening over there? Uh, that whole dude sounds like a robot. What were you doing out there? Oh, there was a big jump. If I had seen that, I totally would have hit it. But I saw it too late. Now, have we got a handbrake type situation coming up here? Boom! Love it when you can uh, hit those corners properly. Get the e-brake into the nitros and get out of there. <clears throat> oh, Shepparton. I know Shepparton. I grew up in Geelong myself, so yes, I'm aware of Shepparton. Man, should I have gone up and over that hill? Is that their thinking? Oh, he's gone up and over the hill. Yes, I definitely should have done it. Man, that dialogue is pretty... Uh, Pretty cheesy. 500 yards remaining. Oh, there's the big jump. I guess it's back to the garage with you. Oh, no! <laughs> I tried to get smart and go for the jump, but it cost me the win. <laughs> yeah, the flat Xbox, not the mini fridge. That's funny. <laughs> Work at the airport. Fair enough. Any specific role at the airport, or you just like the idea of people coming and going all day? What are these cards? How do they work? Why do I feel like I'm about to be pushed some DLC? Hey, Matt, Give us some money for some card packs. It feels like that was about to lead me into. Buy me some off-road wheels. Word. Oh yeah. You good for this? I can lend you some money. Nah, sis, I'm good. I pulled out my savings. No, sis, I'm good. I pulled out my savings. Uh, what is this? Off-road jumps. Yeah, but I want the blue car. Look at this. Subaru. I'll definitely take it if I can. Yes, please. Looks like I can walk faster than that thing. Now, I have to kick your ass. Race to the airfield? Hey, to the airport. We were just talking about the airport and chat. Oh, I'll remind you again, if you're watching this after the fact, you can turn on the live chat replay. So every time you see me looking off screen and then 
making some comment without full context because I forget that sometimes. Uh, you know. Whoa! Off-road. So if you're watching this after the fact, if you turn on the live chat replay, then you can see exactly what everyone is saying in real time. The only thing that you're missing from that experience is, of course, you can't converse directly with me. However, if you tune into one of the live chats, man, do I hate... Yes, I want to exit that. Uh, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Sunday night, 8 p.m. Australian Eastern. You can tune in live. You can chat directly. Oh, I just glanced over and saw someone had written 2077. And yes, I'm very excited for Cyberpunk. That one will be amazing. I'm very keen to see what it looks like next gen style. Oh, and was it, uh, I think I saw today that, is it uh, Watchdog Legions have announced they're doing the up res on, it was early December, I want to say December 5th? Maybe December 5th for the, um... Ooh, I haven't seen her the whole race, we've come to the end and suddenly she's reappeared. Shenanigans, I say, shenanigans! Event complete. Event complete. <laughs> Cyberpunk, indeed. <laughs> Cyberpunk, yes. Want to work for Qantas? Fair enough. Well, that sounds very generous of you. Uh, GMF Splats, Gaming Raptors, it's coming out in 2077. You totally got me with throwing 2077 there. I really did think Cyberpunk, mate. You absolutely got me. Send a garage? What? I don't know what this is doing. Sure, send a garage. Send a garage, send a garage. What? Here we go. All right, what do we got? Drive to the garage, but it looks like we've got some good jumps here. Hey, What's up? Nice ride you got there, Mac. Woo! Why don't you bring her around to the garage? Be right there. Is it going to be some more jumps? Oh, that's an aeroplane. I totally dr almost drove straight at that thing thinking it was a jump. It was not a jump. That's not Snowflake. <laughs> I cleared up the space for you three. Leave oh, I got it. Sure. Why don't you try a bit of upgrading first? See if you can get some extra performance out of those cars. I have a few parts lying around the shop. Just put everything back where you found it. Oh, they... What we? What are we doing? Is that it? Are we done? We did one? Yes. I have no idea what the objective there was. It's worth your time out here in the desert. This one is a racing league called the Graveyard. Led by La Catrina. Bunch of kids with a death wish and a taste for Second league's for you. League 73. An off-road crew led by... All right. Let's get into it. A gift from the not-for-safe team. Then we challenge the bosses one-on-one. Ooh, new vanity item. Hey, trophy, here we go. So that must have been inside. Yeah, okay, so... Well, there you have it. Uh, what are we, an hour 15 in? Two trophies? I think that's going to do it for this stream. Thank you very much for checking it out, guys. That was Need for Speed uh, Payback. I don't think I'll be playing that again on the stream. I'm all it is, though. Let me know what you want to see on the stream on... Thursday night, two nights away. I might throw up a poll. I said I was going to throw up a poll for tonight, but then um, Charlie jumped in and said uh, he was keen for this one. That's why I got there. So I'll put a poll up. Let me know on the community poll what game you want to see on Thursday night. Uh, so we'll be back here Thursday night. Like it, subscribe it. You'll never miss it. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time. Oh! oh trophy! <laughs> Finally! Yes! Avengers, assemble! He's trying to sweep up leaves in this world. And another one! <laughs>